the sharpshooter achievement. It may seem that making a hundred or two shots is not so difficult, but when each shot is worth the cost of a whole space station, it's a completely different story. You have our respects as your bonus. Yeah, that's a, a that's that's a bit expensive, isn't it? Grants I mean, for departure received. There's only ooh. one step left. The coffin bots wanted to connect the core directly to the ship with the mother station, and we need to do something similar with Normandy. It will require a huge amount of energy to travel on the pleasure shuttle to the habitable sectors, and as I've already mentioned, the core can give us that if we're faster than the core exploding, of course. Of course. Well, I mean, if we're already jumping and yes, away. Since there is no babe, we must. Babe says hi. Hello. I can see the signal has improved. Shepard, did you remove the interception equipment? I'm running out of oxygen. The robots are everywhere. Hurry up, I'll try to do it everything. Can't be. We saw the robots die. We won't fall for this a second time because. Hey, easy there. Don't make me remove. Yeah, that was, uh. Her grammar even improved. Maybe I shouldn't do the accent. Ooh. Could you be more careful? We almost crashed. You won't fall for the same bait again, will you? We need to send the compromising evidence all over the galaxy and connect to the core without blowing ourselves up. We don't have time for non-existent survivors. I don't know, Suit. This seems like... It might be a whole new, a whole new babe. Okay. Yeah, the autopilot is still active. I hope it will simply turn off when the systems reboot. Otherwise, I won't be able to change the route for the warp acceleration. Oof. It's oh, a. This is it. The core. Neat. Let's forget about babe for a second. We need to look around. Babe, Normandy, are you that close? I'm too slow. I'll send you the coordinates, but you must be careful. There are many robots here. I wouldn't recommend wasting time on Explore. Right. And one of these robots is sending us messages. By the way, she doesn't have that awful accent anymore. Yeah, you don't say. There are many robots here. And what was the first thing you said? I wouldn't recommend wasting time on exploring. The core might destabilize at any moment. And even if we survive the explosion, we'll never be able to fly away from here. Sensible plan. Still, let's at least fly through all the rings. They're here, you know? They're guiding us in. And that looks like a repair station over there. All the data on the core is classified, and I have no idea where we're going. We'll be fine. Babe, I'm connected, and it alarmed them. Be careful. I feel like we're in the middle of a conversation. Maybe each of the survivors, including Captain Shepard, had their own dead babe. Hmm. Or maybe the bots were just stealing a pre-existing profile pic. And name and personality. Well, not quite personality, because the accent. The automatic maintenance team has survived even here. I wonder why the coffin bots destroyed the repair robots in the interior, but they don't touch them in space. And we're done. Probably. They probably need them out in space. There's a ring over there. Let's go fly through it, just cause. Heh. <laughs> Scratch the paint. Huh. Coffin bots kinda everywhere. Oh well. We fit through just perfect. It's a shame we won't get an achievement for this. I'm this is the sure first time we I've will. Seen a ship like this. It looks like the coffins were going to use it to connect the core to the mother station. Or they are still going to do it, judging by their activity. I've never realized how incredible artificial intelligence must be to control an entire galaxy of coffins. Yeah. I mean, 
it could be that they are more independently driven. We've seen that the individual coffins. Judging by the burned out systems, these spaceships didn't have time to fly far from the core during the crash. Or perhaps it was you who fried them when you crashed the captain's bridge into the core. But I doubt it. I, I mean, we've not seen a whole lot of them that were already alive with us, you know, here. They were probably like this. You can dock to this before. spaceship. I can, but do I want to? Do I want to with coffin bots still flying around outside? And rings unflown through. We have time. It was, what, 17 hours until the, the core detonated, and that was, like, what, three, two, three hours ago? We'll be fine. Hmm. Another ball of that not mayonnaise down there. Well, we didn't find the final ring. Oh, well. Is there any obvious location for it? Not really. It's not important. The airlock is asking for access codes, and it's using foul language. This is the first time I've seen an airlock with an artificial intelligence, but it's clearly not happy with us. Well, maybe we have to ask nicely to get consent. Nah, let's just do a non-consensual docking. Give it a reason. We made it very angry by docking without clearance. You should have heard all those expressions. The airlock hates us to the core. Wow. Babe, I can see you. Start the connection, and I'll try plan B. Start the connection? Plan B? I like charade. Hmm. Makes me wonder what plan A was that failed so badly. The voltage translation unit? A charging station for old battery-powered types of spaceships. If we can build a voltage transmission unit based on this station, we can power Normandy without melting its plating. Do we need to? What an interesting place. Start the connection, she said. I have a crazy idea, but first let's take a look around. I mean, I have a feeling that Normandy would be, like, the top-of-the-line prototype if it belongs to Captain Shepard. Right. This spaceship is definitely connected directly to the core. I can't help thinking that we can use this if we put together a stabilizing unit. I mean, I, I know that we need it for getting, like, out of here in a hurry, but... Still. I, I mean, I guess it is military technology, so I wouldn't be surprised if this thing is an old clunker despite it being a supposedly elite vessel. When people say military... Military grade, they mean done by the lowest builder. By the lowest bidder, after all. An ideal place for a diverting unit. Probably. Try switching that red lever over there. Hmm? Yes, everything is perfect. We can connect Normandy to the core via this spaceship and activate the warp jump if we find the control post. Then we will only have to... Wait, don't you think the camera's behavior is strange? It looks like it's focusing on the airlock on purpose as if a mob of aggressive robots is about to... Do nothing. Oof. Oh my. Did oh. I do this? Did I learn to see the future and shoot lightning? I had no doubt that I was a genius. Babe, are you all right? I saw a large cluster of robots near Normandy and activated Why the power. Why does she keep interrupting me? Although this time I'm even grateful to her. Perhaps this coffin has become so used to playing the role of a woman that it really decided to help us. Let's connect Normandy quickly and get out of here. Suit, so, you are the one with the habit of interrupting her. You're projecting a little bit. I saw a large, a large cluster of robots near Normandy and activated the power cable of the airlock. I'm afraid I might have given myself away, though. Okay, need the diverting unit. So let's go see. Okay. Create and connect stabilizing, transmission, and diverting. What do we need for that? Magnetic, alkali. I 
might have all of that on hand. Okay, first the voltage transmission unit. Yeah, and I think I have all of this here. Okay, da, 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 da. you can transmit knowledge, cringeworthy reality TV shows, and electric power. Of that, I'm sure. What I'm not sure of is how will this thing work and whether it's safe to connect it to the old shuttle charging station. I remember Grandpa telling bad stories about such stations. Blech. Well, they're old technology, and no wonder why. The stabilizing unit. Judging by its name, this unit stabilizes something. I'm not good at this sort of thing, but I suspect it stabilizes the electricity in these huge wires. I hope I put everything together and I won't get fried? I'm I'm sure we followed Suit's instructions exactly. We always do. The diverting unit. It looks like some kind of lightning rod. Uh, probably it works in a similar way, although it's clearly more complicated than an iron stick on a barn roof. As I understand it, the unit should divert the excess energy somewhere away from Normandy, and there will be quite a lot of excess energy. Hmm. Well, I mean, lightning rods are more complicated than just a stick. You also need the chain going down to the ground. That can be complicated. Alright, three thingies installed. Splendid. This unit won't last long, but we don't need it to. One electrical impulse to the core of Normandy will be enough. Good. With this unit, we'll have a chance of not being fried along with Normandy. Just a chance. It's all we need. Perfect. If I've calculated correctly, this unit will be able to divert the excess power away from Normandy. Alright. It sounds like we... Everything I... is ready. Oh. Babe, I can see the mother station is losing power, so you're done now? Go to the control center. I'll meet you at airlock 5A. I'm wearing a pink spacesuit. To break through, we need to... I get the feeling this message is incomplete. I still don't trust her, of course, but we probably don't have much choice. Where's this airlock 5A she mentioned? Hey, pink spacesuit. Do you know any pinkies, space suit? The airlock has fallen <sighs> silent. It's so quiet. Can you hear it? No, you couldn't have heard it. You can't even imagine how nice it is when crazy artificial intelligence stops constantly mumbling at you. I doubt they'll open without any access codes. Although, the airlock is swearing so much that it's unlikely they will open even with an access code. Hmm. But yeah, do you know any pink spacesuits? Because we didn't... We've never seen any of those. I hope we destroyed all the coffins when we came here. I mean, we at least destroyed quite a lot of them. Yeah, I have a feeling that all the resources I would have needed for that project, if I didn't bring them with me, I'd find somewhere out in here. Well, at least we don't this have to way, search apparently. far. Saw drill! Okay. Let's go in at the best no condition we can us. be. Neither in a peak spacesuit nor in any other one. Yeah, I mean, we've never seen a pink spacesuit before. You aren't going to comment on that suit? Does pink mean something to you? It looks like a technical exit for servicing the liner's plating. Might as well pick up everything along the way. But I think that might have been the last big craft order that we just went blasted through. Let's be careful this time. I don't want to get hit on the helmet with stick again. What a strange place to meet. Can we go back? Apparently not. No, no, no. Back is the other way. Go forward, you say? All right, suit. It looks safe. I don't like this at all. It'll be fine. Ooh. 
Oof. By the Nasty. way, I've long noticed that there are very few corpses around for such a catastrophe. Where did they all go? You know, I've always been wondering why the coffin bots haven't been, you know, taking up people to put in coffins to use them as fuel. Maybe These they seem to be the personnel cabins, not the control center. Maybe they finally got around that programming for doing burials and they started, you know, burying people. Yeesh. Yai. That's strange. The personnel were obviously killed a long time ago. Who was shooting who, then? Hmm. Maybe an argument about this whole crazy plan of theirs? So many breath edge energy cores. What? Space orcs. Ooh. Fellowship of the King's Tower. A famous game in the universe of the great John Trollkin. Space Orcs became a real bestseller, especially against the backdrop of the strict censorship of game products, which prohibited almost any variation of violence. But for some unknown reason, they approved of this masterpiece. Bribery, I'd say. Bribery and cultural enrichment. Two great things that go great. That two great tastes that go great together. I didn't know that the chief specialists of the liner were fond of such games. I need to reconsider my attitude toward human entertainment. The mix of of uh, Lord of the Rings and 40k aesthetics here is beautiful. A poster from the game's collector's edition. I used to have one, but it got lost somewhere. Maybe Grandpa stole it. He always liked this game. I think it's because of the subtle allusions to the party's politics and the great conquest of space. That would do it. Oh boy, Orkdolf the Green. I love it. An interesting fact. My database doesn't contain any interesting facts about this game. Uh, suit, I bet I could talk your ear off about it. We don't have time now, is but we babe? are going to. Or is she over there? There are too many babes here, and they were obviously interested in this cabin. We are going to grant you some cultural enrichment, suit. Such papers were issued to all doctors who fell ill during the 10-year epidemic in 2020. They were issued together with a fine and a short-term imprisonment for unjustified illness during a difficult period for the country. So it goes. Uh, Peter W. Bloat, Certificate of Appreciation for Outstanding Services to the Homeland in the Field of Health Protection and Prevention of, epi of Epidemiological Disasters. To Alexander... Camard from Peter W. Bloat, chairman of the board. This, cer this certificate is issued together with the penalty receipt and is an integral part of the documents at the administration case number number. After receiving the certificate, you agreed to keep it intact and in the most visible place in order to avoid criminal prosecution under the Article of Contempt of Power. Article on... Mm. Yeah, that looks like a good use for it. He needs to work on his aim, though. I've never understood the tradition of giving useless trash as a thank you. Although I'm just the spacesuit, and it's not for me to judge the party's policies. You know, suit? That one is kind of useless. That could be a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Then again, with Mr. Bloat's face there. Wow, the beard. I have no idea who wrote this text or why, but I actually like it. I don't understand any of it, but I'm sure that a bunch of highbrows would have made a, a lot of interesting interpretations of its every word at one of their conferences. Script, page 2523, edited. The light of your eye. How will you respond to them? Do you remember your homeland, or does your homeland remember you? Who are you in the endless tangle of destinies? You know the answers to your questions, but have you embraced the universe with them? Aren't you afraid that one day your questions may not be enough and the world will decide to ask you the ones you haven't asked? What will you do when you see the fire of other people's souls shining brighter than your most burning fantasy? And yes, that, that, was, that was Discord. I forgot to turn it to streamer mode. That was not yours. 
I apologize. When the galaxy challenges you, you might pretend it doesn't concern you. You might run, hide, and be afraid. You might delude yourself. But can you hide from yourself? Look at the walls you're putting up in front of you. Isn't it time to open the door to the future? The future that you won't be ashamed of in the eyes of the universe? Isn't it worth fighting for? Isn't it worth loving the moment when you shine in the sky? Let it be brief. Let it burn the eyes of the suffering. But it's so deliciously yours. Open the doors of your soul and step into the future. Take freedom by the hand. Spread your... And there we are. Well, a bit of last-minute inspiration. I know such mechanics in games. Let's not search for the remaining thousands of pages of this nonsense. Honestly, not a bad speech it's got going on there. A little bit too, um, a little bit too liberal arts for my taste, but. Hello, man. My name is Ferreno Forest. I love beef, but my fed doesn't fit in the helmet. That's kind of amazing. Yeah, that's, we need to make space for that. I've seen your registration data, of course, but did you really state your real age there? You're never too old for the Ferranophorif. The army has long relocated to space, but there haven't been any serious conflicts for many years. But vintage choice soldiers still remain popular. Propaganda is a serious thing. Such ground-based units no longer exist. They've been completely replaced by police robots. That's kind of sad. Police robots don't have nearly as good uniforms. That's hmm, there were some survivors here. Probably a design fault that we could fix, though. Aw, I've never seen such toys on Earth. Extinct species of animals are more popular on other planets. Besides, the quality of the toy is too good for it to be made on Earth. Wow. Rabbits are extinct in this universe. An extinct mammal of the Lagomorpha order. Unfortunately, it's not possible to determine the genus and species. First Stabilization Department, 560p2. To VA Prussian, confirmed. Apparently, the cabin's owner was the chief specialist of the core stabilization team. It was a woman, judging by the handwriting. These are obviously handmade control and communication panels. Can you connect me to them? Okay. Interesting. You can control some of the remaining systems of the liner, including the communication points. There's a lot of technical data on the core, on the module plans, and even access codes to secret compartments. Great! I'll upload the compromising evidence and try to send it via all available communication channels of the liner. And then let's find the control center. Compromising evidence uploaded successfully. I hope someone receives the signals. Our method of data maintenance is exactly the same as our method of maintaining everything else. I mean, it's consistent and it's always worked for us. Well, yeah, with this many plans, we need to go through that door. It looks like all the coffins ran there. With this many coffin bots around, uh, I got the feeling that the war has already started. So the access code is, hmm, 4498983PI. What are P and I? What's PI? Punch it? I was just kidding. PI stands for password input, but never mind. I don't think we accurately followed you anyway, and now it worked. Now we should definitely be more careful. It's not clear where all this mob of coffins ran, who babe is, what awaits us in the control center, and when all of this will be over. I mean, it's still dropping, it's still dropping goodies for us to pick up. So, will things be over soon? It's hard to tell.
Yeah, I got a feeling that first aid kits are probably the most valuable thing we could be picking up right now. I'm just looking for like a, a turret or coffin botter. Someone is good shot and knows their weaknesses. Babe said she wears a pink spacesuit. I don't think there are many of these around here. Maybe it's hers. Hmm. A piece of composite fabric of the outer layer of a standard spacesuit with non-standard colors. Are you sure you should waste time examining this rag? Are you sure you should waste time on your unnecessary pessimism? Idiot burned out. Or she did. Shouldn't you be more consumed about one of concerned about one of your fellow spacesuits? Maybe she can be your babe. I mean presuming it's a she. I wouldn't want to presume just from the color, but I mean can you imagine being a a male AI dumped into a pink spacesuit belonging to a lady? They probably would put the female AIs with the female passengers. Give more of that illusion of privacy. Intruders on level one. Terminate. That's Is new. this about us? Wait, no, we're on level five. Intruders on level five. Terminate. Now this is definitely about us. Now, now, there could be someone else around. Been a whole lot of nothing so far. Worrying. Watch the turret. Automatic plasma guns on board a spaceship. It's not wise to have them, even in a top secret facility. Well, that was disappointing. Are there going to be more of those? Right. We need to go right. No, wait. I don't know. I don't have any navigator functions. Just a coordinate grid. Hmm. This is just going to be a circle around, isn't it? Sure looks like it. Anything on the other side? Sure doesn't look like it. I'm so tired of you, cockroaches. You've destroyed everything that has taken years of work to create. You are a virus. Did the door close by itself? This doesn't make sense, but it's very interesting. Break it down. Yeah, Why this are thing's... Why so interested in this spacesuit? You're a creation of Breath Edge. Why are you interfering in the natural course of events? It sounds like that insane diagnostic station that was trying to get on our radio frequency. Insane? What do you consider insanity? Isn't it insane to blindly reject ideas you don't understand? Breath Edge strives for balance, and you only create chaos using outdated norms of society. The only one who's insane here is you. I didn't understand anything, but we need to be careful. I'd say it's trying to do a shitty Gladys impression, but it's more of a shitty Shodan impression. Either way, it's insulting. Eh. Goodness. I think they might they might be telling me to stock up on health. Either that or these were placed when the original design called for lots more encounters than what they finally put in. Well. Yeah. I can shoot plasma bolts out of the sky? Neat. Let's use some of our excessive amounts of health kits. Keep ourselves topped up. 
Yeah, I think that if we just rapid fire on these things, they can do nothing about it. Let's consider the problem there. Hmm. Your attempts to change something are futile. The war has already started, and you can't stop Breath Edge. I've already heard it somewhere. Oh, yes, from those TV-faced coffins. Is this really the mother station they were so eager to connect? TV-faced coffins? You don't even understand their idea, their genius, and practicality. Don't answer it. Just keep quiet. Come to think of it, can you talk at all? Hmm. Well, I've always talked to you, but I don't know about man. Hmm. We're having an identity crisis here. But yeah, I guess the TV faced coffins, uh. The corpse will be forever fresh. If it's just a virtual corpse. And once all the humans are dead, they'll have more than, like, one personality to replace them with. That's practical-ish. So many long corridors. What does it mean? So few actual things to do in all of it. Just keep our hydration and food up. With the ample supplies that they constantly drop on our head. Wait, did I get turned around? Yeah, I got turned around. Aha! Okay, I think this might be the way this might be the way to go. Yeah, I'm seeing new stuff now. Okay, I got lost for a little while there, but it's fine. I, I just got lost in a very linear corridor. It happens. It might only happen to me, but it still does happen. The Vostok 20? It's written that it's indispensable for high-precision work in hard-to-reach places and in low-visibility conditions. 20 kilowatts, a, stazing, a stabilizing head, and an asynchronous basher. I wonder what it is. Indispensable for... <laughs> yeah, so that's where it's said. Well, sounds useful. Wow, what a tool! I won't give you the manual for it, of course, because we still need your hands intact. However, if you'd found it at the beginning of our adventure, we'd have crafted a new liner with it. Wow. Think about how much garbage humanity creates, and how irresponsibly it wastes resources. You are ready to burn your dead bodies, preserve them in zinc coffins, and even throw them into space for the sake of fashion. You've destroyed millions of species and created synthetic life. You need to change, and Breath Edge will help you. Maybe it might help, but we're already close to the control center. Yeah... You... You are one of those synthetic species, dude. Do you really want to change what we're doing? Well, I guess that you got yours. Screw everyone else, huh? Okay. Yep. We've just got lots of blasters on hand, though. It's fine. Let's kind of just get rid of our lowest powered ones first. Yeah, it looks like once you're shooting at those things, they can do nothing about it. So he who shoots first doesn't lose health. It's not like they disintegrate you on one hit. I won't let you get to the core. 
Get out of here. It's no. starting to panic, and I can't see robots anywhere. I hope they all got stuck somewhere in the textures. <laughs> the textures don't look that bad, suit. If anything, this game is very pretty for its budget. Alright, another puzzle boss? Probably. Time for me to die then. Good thing it just saved. Get out. If you can't understand it, you'll just have to accept it. Hmm. We could use some help from Babe now. Breath Edge is your new reality. Spacesuit, aren't you one of us? Oh no, I can feel something. No, no, no. Is it some kind of program installed by the founder of Breath Edge? It's making me... Ah, no, it's just an air bubble in the cooling system. Let's find the central panel and blow it up together with the core. <laughs> Had a bit of gas, did you, suit? Okay, it's another one of these. Red light, green light. They won't let us get to the center panel unless we get rid of them. We need to look around. You don't know what you're trying to destroy. If I won't be able to connect to the core, our galaxy will drown in blood. Without centralized control, Breath Edge will start a chaotic slaughter, and you will be to blame. Won't it start a chaotic slaughter with you in charge? And with the connected core, Breath Edge will start a centralized slaughter, right? Right. Fools. What the heck is this? Do you want the human race to die? Do you want to watch the universe slowly fade away in endless wars? Trust in the power of Breath Edge. I don't know, Endless War sounds good. Yeah, these things really don't... Oh boy, what's this? Connect me to them. Oh no, they're still working. It's terrible. Get your hands off them. They were all connected together into a single AI network. Their personality was destroyed, and their programs to help their carriers were erased. Somebody get them out of here. This is immoral. This... Somebody. This is the mother station itself. What did you oh. expect, spacesuit? That you were created to help at funerals? Kinda. Destroy it. You're an idiot. You're just a sick neuron in my brain. I'm begging you, please destroy it. Nobody can do it better than you. Don't Aww. you dare. You are part of the great plan of Breath Edge. You say the sweetest things when you're you panicking. Don't dare do this. I'll find a solution. I'm smarter than you. Good thing we have a lot of health kits. So, that's what I am. I'm smarter than you. Smarter. I'll find a solution. I'm smarter. Yes, I'm smarter than you. Solution. I'm smarter than you. Yeah, I got a final solution for you. Shoot. There, that's safe. So we didn't destroy all four nodes in the first one. Ah, shoot. Okay, okay. We can fix that. Not a big deal. Oh, hey, Grandpa. The final shrine to him, huh? Good taste, Mother Station. Great, we need to find the rest of them. You don't understand. Stop. Spacesuit, 
You can become the smartest organism in the galaxy. Don't you want to? Don't you want to be me? You can become smarter. Come on, make up your mind. Think, you'll be smarter than anyone. You are me. Come on. Yeah, that whole death of personality thing doesn't really sell it though, does it? You don't really have much of a, a pitch on you with that one. Ah, shoot. Should have gone around the other way. So, we find out what happens now. It looks like it's just a you are dead load autosave. No more, no more, uh, no more funny little framing device. Oh, well. Great, we need to find the rest of them. You don't understand. Stop. Spacesuit. You can become the smartest organism in the galaxy. Don't you want to? Don't you want to be me? You can become smarter. Come on, make up your mind. Think you'll be smarter than anyone. You are me. Come on. Thank you. The spacesuits would like that. They would like that? What are you talking about? You were created to become part of Breath Edge, part of the greatest system. Wake up. Weak up. Go. Wook. What was that word? Key. Wook. No. Word. Word. Wakal. No. Waku. Eep. No. What word? What was that word? Yeah, still sounds like you were going for Wakanda there. So let, let's try just going around the other way this time. Yeah, that looks wiser. We've got the glowy little path squares this way around and not just the zone of death. Green light. Yeah. In safe. Aha. Can I even reach that from safety? Might as well save some ammo. Yeah, you can just kind of reach that from safety. Big long noodle arms. This great mind is starting to falter. We are on the right track. Falter? You are falter. Robots, all attack. No falter was gong gong. The galaxy won't falter. Be smart. Don't touch me and I don't touch you. Don't touch. Robots. Falter. Alter. No space suit. Space. Suit. Falter. No. Smart. The station is getting dumber as I thought it would, but it looks like it has ordered all the robots to get us. I mean, it's a decent last order to give. Last one. Quick! To the central panel now! Before the coffins get here! Let's hope that we've connected everything to Normandy correctly, but just in case, I'll say goodbye. Goodbye, suit. Been fun. No, we'll be fine. Oh, Wasted. what vast possibilities and what a worthless result. Your grandpa's masterpiece deserves a better fate. Hey, stop pressing all the buttons. Is that a butt? I'm trying to figure out how to accelerate the core and direct the power to Normandy, but something is clearly missing. The diagrams show an emergency management system, but it's not here. Button. Stop, I don't have this button in my database. Well, that don't means it must it. be pushed. We must we know what know it does what suit. We, we gotta oh, find out. Pushed it anyway. Ch What's chicken? this? Your grandpa's note mentioned something about the chicken and a key, but it couldn't be literally that. Okay. You, uh... <laughs> you remember the jigsaw puzzle. There. The instructions show. Phew. Is this an emergency control system? 
Ah, bah, virus, virus, ah, uh, uh, virus, ap, pra, ba, ba, virus. What? A virus? The core acceleration? Let's get out of here. The core is starting to accelerate. We must get to Normandy before it melts down. It's a good thing I'm not in control of this. Was this his backup plan to destroy the core? Did he really know this might happen? Shoot, I thought we'd have more time. Oh boy. Oh, front slide. Oh boy. Cover go bye bye. No, no, watch your head. Oof. Well, it didn't hit anything important. We've proven that can take a beating. Oh wow, pre-render. Oh no, we got caught! Oh, and here's the pink spacesuit. Nothing can surprise me anymore. Babe! Is she real? Either that or we're hallucinating real hard, suit. We have to go. Don't just stand there. Careful, it's bulletproof glass. There should be a special hammer for depressurization nearby. <sighs> <laughs> Geez, good. I'm starting to like this babe. The chief forgot to so hold on. Ugh. Neither of us have the perfect solution suit. But together, hey, who knows? No time to ogle her, quick! We've got more than enough energy. Captain Shepard's autopilot has switched off. Activating warp acceleration. I hope I set the coordinates correctly and we won't jump into some neutron star. Are you okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Are you? Neither of those planets look like they were ocean planets. Danger! Wake up! Wake up! Ah, okay, okay. We're already out of warp in sector 15, planet Earth. However, we got stuck in some debris. Our engines got clogged up, and we are just floating. I don't know how you got to bed. I've been rebooting for a long time. But you need to take a look at this right now. It's the Earth's fleet, right? Oh, no. Boy. These are not human ships, but the Earth's fleet is here too, so they got our message. It looks like the war has really begun. I'm in touch with Babe Suit. It's going to wake her up. We need to lay low until... Uh. No, wait! You're not going to get involved. Nah, we left the chicken behind. Uh, Everyone uh, important behind us. According to the Breath Edge security <laughs> protocol, I must... Star. Although, you know what? Screw this Breath Edge! Ah. Okay. Oh, well. Ah, shoot. Did I leave the... Oh, did I leave the chat filter from last night's stream on this whole time? I just realized that. I am sorry. is a bit too loud for me to talk over it, I think.
I can at least turn that OBS overlay off. I am sorry about that. I didn't notice that. <laughs> Lovely credits. I am so sorry for leaving the chat overlay on. Oh, <laughs> ruin the final episode. Congratulations, comrade. You survived the great space meat grinder, saved the princess, and defeated the terrible evil with your punishing handy scrapper. In the near future, you'll find a little more adventure under the guise of a free add-on, but in the meantime, you can either return to the main menu and quit this game already, or continue to roam the galaxy in search of useless junk. Well, let's continue just a little bit, just so I have a save. Just to have a save. It's fine. But yeah, we have all that stuff we found. We have it. We can get Grandpa's Shrine. We can... Oh, no. It's it's fine. It's fine. The line are named Babe, Debris in Orbit, Shepherd's Grave. We can go wherever we want now. Lovely. Well... I may have marred the finale with my stupid chat overlay that I forgot to turn off, but this has been Breath Edge. And as it implied, they came out, I don't know how long ago, but over back in the menu, we have a free DLC that we can go through too. Just down in here, we have the Leia Center DLC. It looks like with only six achievements and 11 collections, it's probably a really short one, but we'll try that next time on Breath Edge. In the meantime, you all have yourselves a wonderful day and a lovely evening. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>